uh, the new latest version of Music Nerds is out in Steam. So you can go give it a try if you want to a whirl. It's got uh, the synth, which I'm pretty well done with. I don't have a whole lot of big things left to go do uh, on my list of things. So there it is, finally playing. It'll load up. And there we go. Here I am. So you walk through this first thing, and, and the, the synth, if you want to play with it, is the keyboards. Keyboard controller, and you can say load an instrument, you say analog synth, and pick a scale to, to use for your PC keyboard. You could also choose uh, PC keyboard patterns, or if it found a MIDI keyboard, it'll put MIDI keyboard in this drop down list as well. We'll just first start with a PC keyboard, and it, and it'll play if you play like JKL uh, on the on the keyboard. It'll play three notes in a major key, and it defaults to start with with a sine wave, turned halfway up with nothing else going on here. So you can do a lot of things, and I'll start making some videos uh, at because next uh, sprint, which will start this weekend. I will be trying to go do stuff. I've got the ability to create presets now, so it'll remember what you ever set your synthesizer to, and you can bring them back in, and that's important. So, uh, the things things that are new are things like uh, again, you can the, the most the easiest thing to do is you can combine up to three synthesizers together, and it, it merges them, so it it it. Uh, has them play in unison so um, and so you can have a sine wave for example with a square wave and it would sound something like whoop <laughs> that's a uh, JKL again you can hear it being a lot more hollow because it's got a secondary square wave I can bring back back down so bring this up so you can mix the waves together. You could put a saw wave to make it sound a little more um, harsher. And so I will be doing things here to show show classic things like um, in the analog synth, how would you fake a horn? How would you fake a piano? How would you fake a drum? You know, some classic techniques used for it. Uh, it's got the ADSR envelope, and again, I'll make a, I'll make little videos about all these things. About how to use those. Um, the other thing that's new uh, yeah, is uh, I, I added FM synthesis, so you have one wave modifying another wave. So I'll bring in a sine wave to modify a sine wave, and then you can set the pitch so it's going to be two notes different and the amount I want it to affect it. And here we. So it's a uh, or. Change the wave more. You can so again. You can play around with this to get different sounds. Um, the other thing, of course, and I've shown before is LFO. So that's a that's how you add things like vibrato, and we'll have it move around the pitch ten new and go apply it to oscillator pitch one. So now you hear a vibrato when I play them. Make the vibrato faster. Really fast. Yep, or slow. I can change the release to be higher, so it'll take longer for it to fade out. Make the attack longer. And so on. It's typical synthesis, and I'll, like I say, I'll be putting together some videos for uh, how to use synthesis and how to do different things to make it work. It's out there, so have fun with it. Um, I can add some reverb. So that's kind of a weird sounding thing, so we'll cut it back. 
I am going to make the LFO this more. And I can do a keep. I can do patterns, so I could bring in some of those patterns that I played, like uh, you've heard before, like a melody pattern. Let's play melody seven on my synth. <laughs> Cut it out, set the pans. So, there you go. It's out there. <laughs> 